Hey, what's going on, everybody? Marty here with Comic Book Fanatics. And so, my boy Undisputed Frost was telling me about a YouTuber, Doom143. He is having a contest, a subscriber appreciation contest, and he's giving back to the community for hitting them at, uh, I think it's like 800 subscribers or something like that. Um, I, I can't remember. <laughs> Excuse me for that. And uh, he was like, yeah, you know, you know, check him out. He's doing a contest. So I, I went there and looked at the video and stuff. And so I'm going to do this video just to show my support to him. And one, because he's doing a contest, which is showing his appreciation for all the subscribers out there. And, and I think that's I think that's wonderful that he's doing that. And so I just want to show my support to him because I know how it is when you're hitting a certain amount of subscribers. And I think that's wonderful. So congratulations, Doom143. And his stipulation about the contest was that you show 50 of your top books, must be 18 or older, and shout out at least three YouTubers that you think may need some support. And... I'll be honest with you guys, I have not been on YouTube in quite some time. I haven't had an opportunity to watch a lot of the newer YouTubers part of the community, so my apologies on that. Um, and a lot of the people that I do know are a lot of the older guys I've known for a couple years already. So, um, so my apologies. So I'm just going to do this video as a way to show my support to you, Doom143, and congratulations to you again. And I hope you enjoy my video. Um, that's a lot of a lot of books to show, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna see what I I can do. It may be a long boring video, but it's okay. Um, I just want to show you my support, brother, and congratulations again on the subscribers and uh, everybody. You guys check him out, Doom One Forty Three. Check out his video. I'll put a link down it on the descriptions box. So if you want you want to see who that is, go. Even if you don't want to join the contest, go down there, give him a thumbs up. Give him a like, you know, and maybe a comment or just subscribe, you know. It doesn't cost anything to subscribe. It doesn't hurt you just to click your finger, right? So go check him out and give him a subscribe, all right? Anyways, take care of yourselves, and i talk to you guys soon. And may the force be with you. All right, so my 50 top comic books. And I, I, it's not that I'm, I'm trying to cheat, but <laughs> that's a lot of freaking books, 50 books, okay? But... Let's let's do it this way. You guys know I'm a big Spidey fan, so I'm gonna show you my earliest editions of Spider-Man. Therefore, that should include some of my top fifty comic books because I spend a good chunk of change on these earlier books. So let's get started with that. All right, for number one, I've got the Amazing Spider-Man, number seven, second appearance of the Vulture. Okay. Number two is Amazing Spider-Man number eight. Uh, first appearance of the Living Brain. Fantastic Four appearance. All right. Number three is Amazing Spider-Man number nine. First appearance of the Electro. That's three. And Amazing Spider-Man number ten. This is the first appearance of the big man. This <laughs> is old, uh, old foes of Spider-Man back in the days right there. Okay. And that was 10. So, this one, Amazing Spider-Man number 11. And then, Amazing Spider-Man number 12. What was that? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's six. And number seven is Amazing Spider-Man number 13. The first appearance of Mysterio. All right. Amazing Spider-Man number 14. First appearance of the Green Goblin. Yes, it is. All right. And... Amazing Spider-Man number 15, first Craven the Hunter. Okay. That was what? Number 15 and Amazing Spider-Man number 16. First crossover with the Daredevil, Amazing Spider-Man. 
and Amazing Spider-Man number 17 right there Amazing Spider-Man number 18 Amazing Spider-Man number 19 <laughs> all right and let's see Oh, wait a minute. There we go. All right, so Amazing Spider-Man number 20. All right. I just had them, <laughs> I just had them all jumbled up. 22. And twenty-four and twenty-five. Okay, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. That's eighteen. So let's go two more. We said 25 last, right? And let's go with 26. Amazing Spider-Man 26. Twenty-six and twenty-seven. So that makes twenty of <laughs> that makes twenty of the amazing Spider-Man. And you know what? I, I'm not going to bore you with Amazing Spider-Mans. I know you guys are probably tired of seeing that. So I'm, I'm going to look for a few other different books. But, you know, since we're on that, I'm, I'm not going to count these. But I, I figured I'd show you guys Amazing Spider-Man number 28. Yep. There's 29. There's 30, 31, 32, 33, signed by Stan Lee, of course, and um, Golden Label. But anyways, okay, and I do have the run, uh, run from, as you guys saw, number 7 was my lowest one. Number 7 all the way up to 700 of value 1. And um, still currently working on number 1 through number 6. I, mo I, I probably, unless I win the lotto here, I will probably never get Amazing, uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15. So I'll, I'll be happy with Amazing Spider-Man complete run from 1 to... The 700. Okay, so let's move on. I'm going to find some more books. Give me a second. All right, so continue on. Um, some more of my top books here. I, this time I, I want to show you guys some commissions, okay? And I consider these my top books too because I paid a pretty good chunk of change for these commissions. And my girl Harley and Poison Ivy are work done by Ho Jose Varis. All right, and the next one I have is, this is a steampunk vampire killer. It's a double-sided, and this one is by Jeff West. All right, the next one is, again, my girl Harley on the front, and on the back is Wonder Woman, and this one is by, by my girl Krista Lara. She's amazing. All right. Next, I've got another one. Another Harley Quinn. And this is by Ryan Kincaid. Amazing work done by him. And I also liked his art so much, I actually got two of them. Another Harley and Poison Ivy. This time more of an steampunk outfit. 
All right, here's another one of my top books, and I, I need to get this one graded, to be honest with you. But that one right there, Harley Quinn number one, this is the Adam Hughes variant. And, of course, I mean, very fan of Adam Hughes's work. Not all of it, but some of it, and this is, happens to be one of them that I like. And also, I'm throwing this in there. This is Vampirella number two. I haven't gotten to Vampirella number one yet, but eventually... I'm going to get that, and but until then, this is another one of my top books, okay? Alright, and I'm going to show you a couple of my other of my favorites. Mm, by Sora Sung. This is more of a, steam, not steampunk, but a bombshell Harley Quinn. And if you've seen my Instagram, I posted where she had sent me the... Uh, the print she, she had just got done for it. It was a print. So, yep. One of my favorite ones. And let's see. This one right here is by um, Jimbo. Great artist. He did this for me. This is uh, Amazing Spider-Man. And you got the Green Goblin. So One of my favorites. Okay. And... Oh yeah, this guy right here, man, not a very popular artist, and but nevertheless, he did an awesome job with this, and, and I only paid 50 bucks for it at a convention. I was, I was absolutely thrilled what he did for 50 bucks for me, okay? Oh yeah, look at this. My boy Big O got this for me at a convention, and then I liked it so much, I asked Ryan Kincaid if he could color it in for me which I did, so it was originally was just the sketch that Big O sent me, and then as I mentioned, I was like, man, I want to get some more color on this, so I ended up sen sending it to him, and he added more color for it. It's awesome. Looks gorgeous. Oh, here's another one. Mike Chrome. You guys don't know Mike Chrome. Mike Chrome does a lot of the uh, Xenoscope type of covers, and uh, he did this Gamora up one, and I, I ended up purchasing this one. Really beautiful commission done by Mike Chrome. He's a little bit pricey, but well worth it. Oh, man. Here's another one. Another one of my favorites by an artist named Buzz. I got this done at a convention, too. Really great artist. I, I bought a few of his prints. I was absolutely in love with his artistic style. and So I had to get that. And... That's it for right now. So let, let me move. Uh, this that was the commission. So let me move on to a few other things. All right, moving on. And I want to show you guys some more of my top books. So let's move on to this beautiful cover, an Alex Ross cover. And this is um, Batman Harley Quinn. This is the first time Harley Quinn. Harley Quinn is introduced into the DC continuity. She, of course, she was in um, she was in Batman Adventures, which was the cartoon. So I'm uh, that was the first appearance of Bat Batman Adventures number twelve. But as I mentioned, this is her first time you see her in the Batman continuity. All right, here we go. Here's a Batman Adventures, Mad Love. Another one of my top books. And let's see. Oh, look at this beautiful cover right there. Love that. That's from Germany. That's actually the German variant right there. A gorgeous book right there. All right, so that's enough in that box. So let me switch the boxes already. All right, moving on. Let's see. I'm going to show you guys. Oh, yeah. This is a beautiful cover right here. Gotham City Sirens number one. Another one of my top books. And, oh yeah. Harley Quinn number one. This is when she um, had her own series. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys this commission right here. Another one of my favorite commissions. This one uh, is by Ken Lashley. He did up a Wonder Woman for me. From um, one of the one of the conventions I'd want to, and this is another com um, commission. This one's done by Ebass. 
honestly like the guy's artwork however not you know not worth what I paid for it to be honest with you and that's where it kind of pisses pisses me off about certain artists same thing with this one not worth what I paid for it beautiful artwork but it could have been more for what what I what I think that I paid for it for you know all right here's another good cover this is Star Wars number one 8.5 I think I could have got a higher grade if I got actually got that one pressed all right oh look at this this is a uh, Hulk which uh, George Lopez did for me George Perez did I say George Lopez George Perez I'm sorry all right let's see what else oh here we go new Teen Titans number two first appearance of Deathstroke love me some Deathstroke oh yeah Red Sonia number one love me some Red Sonia another one of my top books here's another top book right here I know this goes up and down especially with the movie and stuff now this is the uh, first appearance of X-23 NYX th number three and oh yeah yeah another top book definitely another top book Conan the Barbarian number one right there okay oh here's another another one of my favorite top books right here this is the first appearance of Red Sonia right in comic books okay man and then you've got the second appearance well first full appearance of Red Sonia they put full first full appearance but however you look at it first one might be a cameo that, that I, I'm not gonna get into that and ah of course this is Batman Adventures number 12 first appearance of Harley Quinn and it's 7.0 but it's all good and then I ended up buying this one off my boy um, uh, Simplified Comic Guy. This is a 9.6 CGC signature qualified grade, and this is a and this is also this one is also signed by uh, Bruce Tim, but probably why it's a qualified grade. But it also has the sticker on here. I was thinking about maybe eventually get having a pro remove that sticker for me and getting it clean and pressed again, and see what I come up with that. All right, see, so let's see, what else, what else? Um, played some good chunk of change for some of these books, man. Ah, here we go, Batman 189. This one right here is uh, first appearance of the Scarecrow. Batman Detective Comics 359, yes. First appearance of Batgirl, Barbara Gordon. All right. And, oh yeah, here we go. Werewolf by Night, number 32, first appearance of the Moon Knight. Lovely, lovely. I got Hulk 180, don't have 181, but I got 180. This is good enough for me, right? Okay, so there's, there's that. Let me see if I can find some more of my top books for you. Give me a second. All right, here's, a, here's another one of my CGC boxes, so... Um, oh, hey, by the way, guys, this is for sale. Fantastic Four number 46, signed by Stan Lee. This is the first appearance of Black Bolt. So if anybody's interested in this, hit me up, motherfuckers. All right, let's see. Let's move on. I Honestly, I, I've lost count, guys. So my apologies if I'm still under, if I went over. But as I mentioned, some of my top books, and once you start getting to some of your top books... You kind of, you know, you just kind of lose, lose count. Oh, I love this cover. Batman Detuck, Detective Comics number 880. This is a jock cover right here. Really, really gorgeous cover. Ah, yes. Very beautiful cover right here. All right, this is Power Girl number 27. Um, covers by Sammy Basri. Man. I really love his cover. I'm trying to get him, trying to get him to do a commission for me. He's got uh, some beautiful Harley Quinn books that are up for auction right now. Oh, I really love this cover. 
you know, not necessarily a top book, but it's a Adam Hughes cover and one of my favorites of the Catwoman just kind of sitting there and drinking her coffee, but another beautiful cover. Ah, here we go. This is Catwoman number 51, and this is an Adam Hughes cover, and, you know, th this this book right here is, is, is quite pricey, and I don't know why. But the, the only significance of this book is the fact that it's an Adam Hughes cover and that these numbers are from the TV show Lost. Okay, and besides that, there's, there's no other significance to the book, but it's a good chunk of change if you want it. All right, let's see. That's some more Harley books. Oh, I love this cover. This was this is a J. Scott Campbell cover. And I think he did an awesome job with this cover. Alright. Let's see. Ah. This is a beautiful, beautiful Alex Ross cover right here. This is Batman number 47. I just I just love the cover. I, so I ended up just getting it um, slab because I want to come. I just want to preserve. Really no big significance to that book, but... It doesn't have to be because I just love the artwork and I wanted to get it, wanted to get slabbed. Ah, yes. Here's a Forp Forbidden Planet variant. This is Star Wars number number one. It's got the Boba Fett planet um, cover to it. Beautiful, gorgeous cover. This is one, just one of my favorite covers. And here's another one of my favorite covers. Alex Ross, uh, Darth Vader. This was a pretty good chunk of change just for the book too. But, yeah, so I've slowed down a lot, guys, from from collecting and with that hype and everything like that. Um, I've slowed down a lot on buying just crazy amounts of comic books and pricey comic books. But, yeah, I've been kind of focusing on other stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Let me show you a couple covers. Oh, man, I, I, these are Batman Adventure covers. Check this out. My boy Edwin hooked me up with this one from the Fan Day Expo Con. Isn't that gorgeous? And my boy Simplify Comic Buy, Simplify Comic Guy, he hooked me up with this one right there. It's, oh man, these are John Boy covers, by the way. And he also hooked me up with the foil cover, man. Look at that. Good Lord Almighty. And check this one out. This one right here this is another Batman Adventures number 12 variant. And this is the foil cover, man. Isn't that gorgeous? All right, anyways, that's it, guys. Uh, I, I know I went way over 50, but I wanted to show my support to Doom. And I know how it is, you know, when, when you're trying to do a give giveaway and show your appreciation to all the subscribers and stuff. So I want, I want to just kind of show my support to him. And it's been a minute since I've actually done a video. And I apologize if this went on a little longer than normal or it just wasn't a good video but it's not about that it's what it is the the whole thing about the video is that i'm showing some support to doom doom 143 and i wanted to show um people in the community that you know this guy is, a, is definitely a good guy great part of the community so go check him out go give him a subscribe so his link should be down there below. I'm going to put his link below, but check him out, man. He's He's got this contest going on. He's giving away some great prizes for first and second and third place. And um, so if, if even if you don't want to join in on his, his uh, contest, just go down there, subscribe to him, give him a thumbs up on the video, and, you know, tell him... Uh, tell him Best wishes and congratulations. All right, that's all I got, guys. Take care of yourselves, and may the force be with you.